guys, it's Joe here, and today I wanted to talk about some trends. Clearly, I'm the most trendiest person you know. Cool kids, hand gestures, and slang. Um, so, today I thought I would go back to when I was born, which was the year 2000, and see what trends were happening back then. So, this is from the website Bustler. Basically, I'm going to read off the top 17 2000 trends. So, if you don't know, I'm a 2000s kid, so I was born in the year 2000. Um, I was born in the end of 2000, so 28th of September if you want to know. So we're just going to go through them and see if I know any of them as trends, or if I don't remember any of them at all. Let's have a look. The number one is frosted lip glo gloss. I remember this so vividly. You had to have like that shimmery pink finish, otherwise you weren't a 2000s person. It just... You know, it was in everyone's pockets, it was in everyone's handbags, like my mum still does it to this day. I hate it. I hate it now. Didn't mind it back then, I was also like, just born so I didn't really care. Number two, trucker hats. Especially Von Dutch hats. So they were like the, I call them baseball caps, the ones. And they were worn with everything. 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 And I don't have her understood why. Why would you wear it with everything? Like, I wear baseball hats on occasion, but as you can clearly tell, I wear no baseball hat right now. So, that one's like a meh. The ne next one is lace up jeans. I didn't realize this was a 2000s trend. I honestly thought that this was like a now trend, because that's a very now thing, is like lace up pants or just pants without a butt to them very revealing. I didn't really think that the 2000s had that as a trend, so that I don't remember. So that's kind of cool. Jeans with no back pockets. That is so stupid. Girls already have fake pockets, now we have no pockets. Honey, give us real pockets that have decent, like, so this is a pocket, right? So if my face is a pocket, this would be like the opening part, right? So, pocket. Girls would have like this much room, whereas guys would have like this much, and it's so frustrating. Jeans with bedazzled pockets. Now this I remember so much. So much. I remember this like really vividly. They were like always had to be on the pockets, they had to be like really like either bohemian um, details or they had to be like very country. Don't know why, it's a weird trend. That kind of faded. We're now into more like embroidery jeans, I guess. I don't know. Jeans have always been up and down in trends, I guess. The next one is a popcorn shirt, which I'll throw up a picture of here. This, I don't remember at all. It looks weird and I don't like it looking back at it now. Now, if we come back into frame, hi. The next one is you got your tattoo choker necklaces. So they were the ones where, like, I don't know, it was just, just a choker, really. And they're still very popular now, so I'm glad they're still in fashion, question mark. I mean, if you rock them, good on you. I haven't really tried one before, so who knows, maybe I might like a choker, but I don't know, we'll see. Holter tops were very popular in the 2000s. Honestly, love a halter top occasionally, but it sucks when you have to wear a bra. Ladies, people who wear bras. Y'all can relate because you need like those bras that like either don't have a, like the top part or you just need one that's a halter top. But like halter top is really good. Next was pants with messages on the butt. This I agree. Even like down the legs as well. I remember in like early 2000s always having pants that had like stuff that said like Hollister. When I went to America or it would just say like sassy girl or whatever generic girl slang it would say on there. Or it would just be... There was always stuff like that. I don't remember them much on the butt, but I remember them down the legs a lot. The next one is... Gacho pants. These were before yoga pants took their place. I have never heard of these. I think they're more of an American thing. They did def I don't definitely... Definitely don't remember them. Next one is airbrush shirts. I'm also going to check in tie-dye shirts, because tie-dye shirts were huge in the 2000s and they still are now as you can kind of tell this is like kind of airbrush tie-dye vibe thing um 
they were just so cool and they're, they're still pretty cool now I think it depends on where you get them from the next one is studded belts I have a studded belt I love it, it was for my Harley Quinn costume but I love it and I think they're a really cool trend too because it's just a belt but it gives a little bit of pop of detail which is really cool too the next one was oh my god butterfly clips butterfly clips you don't know what I'm talking about they were clips right little baby clips they look like butterflies some of them look like butterflies some of them like the way they clipped were like butterfly wings so they just go but no no hair you did not see a child's hair without a butterfly clip like here or like somewhere in their scalp there was a butterfly hair clip no matter where <laughs> that was a thing next was rhinestones yo rhinestones were the thing like chuck it on your shirt see look they're like all here you chuck it on your locker you chuck it on everything rhinestoning everything it was like the coolest thing to do like rhinestoning jackets rhinestoning pants and shirts it was like the thing to do I don't know why but it was the thing to do next were the companies or like designer brands like F.U.B.U. Rockaway, Echo and GC Couture haven't heard of any of them so we're going on next next we gotta talk about the all denim everything we have to thank and we gotta thank Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake for wearing the all denim to what was it they wore all denim head to toe I think it was to something some like I think it was like the NBA or something like that it was denim head to toe like Britney had like a denim skirt with denim shoes Justin had a denim hat with a denim jacket with a denim shirt with denim pants with denim shoes like it was all denim everything was denim I'm kind of glad that denim died down a bit but at the same time like it was still kind of cool too so I think depending on how much you wore last but not least is the low-rise jeans the most ugliest of jeans because the jeans went from like pretty much you could just see like everyone's like every guy's underwear you could see for miles I'm surprised you some of them you could see like half their butts and it's not because it was cut it was just that's where they sat and like it pretty much just sat like on your hip line if not under they were the most disgustingest thing on the planet but hey they were popular so you gotta do what you gotta do they were so bad though because they were like ugh. I don't know how to describe them but it was pretty much like on the verge of seeing people's butt cracks and if not some people you would see like half their butt crack and you're just like ugh. And I remember all of this, and I was born in the year 2000. So, glad that's gone. Now we have high rise jeans, which thank God it can hide my stomach when I'm 100% insecure, which is all the time. So, with that, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. So, anyway, try it. See you guys in the next video. Sorry, guys, I'm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. The year 2000. What a weird time. I was born, everyone thought we'd be dead, but the year kept going, and now we're in 2019. What is happening?